Hey, what is up, YouTube? And in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a locked door. So, this it doesn't look locked at the moment, it just looks like a normal um, fridge, as you'll see. I'm doing a fridge um, this video, but you can do whatever one you want. You can make it a door, you can make it a garage door, you can make it a, a building, you can have the entire building locked if you really want to. Um, there's a couple of things I've got to start straight off with. The rest of it, I'm going to be showing you from the scratch, like how to make the keys. How to make the locks, how to make how to script it, how to make the doors open after it's open after it's unlocked, and it's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so the first three things I've got is I've already got the sounds. Okay, the sounds. All you gotta do is just search them up in the toolbox. Just piggy unlock door sound, or just unlock door and then find it. You'll see that it's this one here. Just speed it up a little bit, and then the unlock door like that. So that's the only three sounds you're gonna need. I've named them specifically: door close, door open, and unlock door. I've also got the model and I've already made it up into the parts we're going to need. So obviously you're going to need everything. I've made this a union. If you're using a fridge, you will have to negate some parts. So as you'll see, if I separate that, you can see that I've got some red parts here. They're, what's, they're what I've taken out of the um, build. Um, and I've left them there on purpose. Just name that door. Or no, not name it door. Name it frame, I think. I named it frame. Because that's not the part that you need. Um, door 1 is the part that's opening, door 2 is the other part that's opening, all they've got is links to parts, we don't actually need them either. Um, and this part here and that part there are just the handles, okay? That is all I have, the rest of it I'm going to be showing you from scratch how to do, okay? And we'll start with the locks, the lock isn't too hard to do, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to insert a part into the toolbox, just like this, okay? I'm going to be doing a blue door, you can do whatever colour door you want. Um, actually I might, do, I might do a random door, I might do a... I might do a uh, what, what colour door should we do? We'll, we'll do? we'll do a green door, we'll do this colour door. Alright, and all you're going to do is you're going to take a normal part, you're going to make sure it's anchored first, and all we're going to do is we're going to resize this a little bit, okay? So we'll, the size we want is going to be size, and I'm just going to up, is 0.938, comma, 0.134, comma, 0.536. This is not the, oh wait, Oh yeah, this is not the normal um, P lock size, it doesn't look like it at the moment. And then if we go plus, and you're going to add a mesh, so you're just going to go block mesh. And then all we're going to do here is we're going to change the... Where is it? Uh, wait, how do you change the... Um, is it block? Oh, I don't think it's block mesh. Change it to special mesh. To go mesh, special mesh. Yes, yeah, so do special mesh, and mesh ID... We're going to want 5, 2, 4, 4, 9, 7, 3, 1, 2. And you should have the normal lock size. That is actually a really big one. I don't know why it's so big. Um, we should be able to resize it in a minute. Oh, yeah, so the size of this has actually got to be a bit smaller. So you want to change the scale to 1, 1, 1. Uh, is it, no, is it scale 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5? It might be that one. Um, but yeah, that's basically what you're going to want for this part, for this first part. Um, the size is fine, everything else is fine on it. That's basically your lock. Um, this is a bit smaller to the one that you normally see in Piggy, but I've made mine... Oh, that's got a lock. Oh, I didn't realise it had a lock in it. It actually has a lock hole in it. Um, mine's going to be a little... It's at a weird angle as well. That is really, really odd, not going to lie. Um, but with mine, what I've done is I've taken a mesh straight from if you want to take it from a door or, or already made door in piggy feel free to do so I might have to fix mine for a second um, piggy lock just because um, I'm not sure if mine is correct that one's that one a weird angle yeah it is um, where's the yeah, that, that is correct. So I'm, I'm going to leave mine like that. That'll be fine. And then all you're going to do is you're going to duplicate it and you're going to put one on the other side as well. Let's see if you want it on the other side. If you've got a normal door, like I said, you don't have to, but you can if you want. Wait, where's... Oh, no. Well, that's broken now, isn't it? Hold on, can I bring them back? Am I able to bring them back? Yes, I am. Okay, hold on. Let me just bring that back a second. And... There's a dump, and there, right, okay, we don't need anything else after that. Um, is there two of these now? No, okay, do look at that, put one on the other side, there you're going to, you're going to be your two locks. You don't need two if you, two if, ne so you don't need, exactly need two. I've only got two because I've got two, oh, I've done it again. 
It's happened again. I've got two because that mine's got two handles, so I'm adding two locks onto the door. There we go. And that is really annoying. I might have to re-rig them in a minute. Just so they don't fly off again. There we go. So once you've got these two locks on the door, let's not push it away this time, that'll do. Like that. They're going to be your two locks for the door, exactly right. You're going to name one of them Lock 1, and you're going to name the other one Lock 2, okay? You're going to put these both into the model just like that. They are your locks complete. Next thing to do is going to be the piggy key. So you're basically going to add another part into the workspace. You're going to change the key size to be 0.8. So you're going to change the size of this part. You're going to anchor it again. You're going to change the size of it to be 0.8. Um, 1.6 and 0.2 just like that, okay, we're obviously going to rotate it around just so it's normal size like that we're going to change it to be the exact same colour as this wrong colour the exact same colour as the door, that's also the wrong colour um, bright green, there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to add another mesh into this one, so we're going to add another special mesh to find mesh here we go and now you'll see that it's turned into a cylinder, we don't want that at the moment, all you're going to do go into mesh, we're going to name the mesh ID 456878024 just like that, now that is really really small, we're going to change the scale of it to be 555 five, five. whoops, 555, five, five. like that, that should be the normal size of a key now um, there's a couple of other things we are going to need to change on, oh no, that's a particle emitter um, now what you're going to do is inside of this key, we're going to add a click detector, and it's going to be 25, and it's going to be normal click detector. You can leave that, okay? This is going to be your normal key, so I'm going to name this one green key. We're then going to add in a what is next? We're going to add in a particle emitter like this. Obviously, we don't want that. Obviously, what we're going to start with is going to start the color. Now the color is going to be the exact same color as your key. So just take the colour here, copy it, and then paste it in here. Obviously if you can find it on a table, do, do so. And that will be your particle emitter, not, obviously it's not completed yet. The light emission is going to be 0, light influence is going to be 1. It's going to be facing camera, size 0 0.5. The, that is correct on there. The transparency is going to be 0 0.5. So like that. The Z offset is going to be 0. The acceleration is going to be 0, 0, 0, drag 0, locked apart no, time scale 1, velocity 0, um, emission direction top, enable GS lifetime 1, 2, like that. Rate is going to be 1.5, rotation is going to be 60. ROT speed is go oh no ROT speed is going to be 60 sorry the rotation is going to be negative 130 the speed is going to be 0 0.5 the spread angle is going to be 0 360 okay just like that that is going to be your key or your first key we're now going to have to add a script into this though and this first script is going to be, um, I've got to find it on here real quick, door script, blue key script, here it is, right. The first script we're going to need is going to be here, I'm going to rotate my phone just so I can see the entire script as it is. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Right, that is much better. So now I can actually see the script so it's not like coming off. First bit we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to name it local, see local, click, equals script dot parent dot click detector, and two more we're going to go local, tool, storage, equals game dot replicated storage, dot tools I'm going to go local name equals script dot parent dot name 
and then we're going to go local can give with a capital C and G equals false. Okay, we're now going to start the actual script. Okay, so it's going to be click dot mouse click colon connect function. And then we're going to go add another pair of brackets, and in this thing, we're going to add player. And we're going to click in between the brackets, so you've got the end at the bottom. And you go if not player colon find first child open this enemy and not player colon find first child open this dead then next line if game the game answer spell dot replicated storage dot item switching we'll go add this in a minute so we're gonna item switching um dot value equal to true then local back pack equals player dot back pack and we go for i comma v in pairs open brackets Backpack colon get children. Then we're going to open another pair of brackets and inside. So we're going to need one there, and then we're going to need another one to end. So it's going to be like there. We need to do local. Keep losing it now. Local click item, local click click item with a capital I equals game dot replicated storage dot tool handles local item name of a capital i and then a capital n equals click item colon find first child and then we're going to open these brackets we're going to put v dot name with a capital n like that we're then going to go into the next line local clone equals item name colon clone like that clone got to see no clone clone dot parent equals game dot workspace clone dot position equals script dot parent dot position backpack I can tell it's already gonna be a very long video because it's already 40 minutes long, we're on the first script, I have about 5. Backpack, colon, find, first, child, open bracket, v dot, name, colon, destroy, do that. 
Then we're going to add the end, okay? So that's the end of that first part. Then we're going to go into the next line. Local clone item equals tool storage. How long are we from in the script? Not too long now, guys. Not too long now. Colon find first child. Let's see, find first child. Open brackets name local cloned equals clone a local cloned equals yet yeah, clone colon clone do that cloned dot parent equals player wait a minute I think I might have skipped it just just a little bit. I think I might have skipped just just a little bit. Go to local clone clone item. Local cloned equals clone item. Oh, this is clone item. Um, colon clone like that. Then we've got to go on to the next line. Cloned dot parent equals player dot back pack next line script dot parent destroy and it's gonna go next end then we're gonna go to the next line if game dot replicated storage dot item switching which we'll be adding a little bit later like I said item switching dot value equal to false then next line if not player dot back pack colon find first child open bracket name then local clone equals tool storage colon find first child open brackets name local cloned equals clone colon clone Cloned, I'm forgetting for the percent clone now. Dot parent equals player dot back pack. That is your first script complete, okay? Wow, right, that is your, that is your first script complete. Um, you can leave that as called script. That is all we need for the actual pickup one, so that's the one you're going to be picking up. The next one we're going to be creating is going to be the one that's going to go into the tools folder, tool storage, okay? This one's going to need an extra script. This one's going to be called the rotation script. This one, trust me, guys, is not very long. Okay, all you're going to do is go script dot parent dot orientation equals vector free dot new minus nine negative ninety colon um, math dot random And then we're going to open up another brackets, naught, colon, 360. We're going to go here, go colon zero, close bracket like that. Then we're going to go script dot, uh, script colon destroy. That is all we're going to need for the orientation one. All you're going to do is rename that one rotation script, okay? Row rotation script complete rotation script like that okay that is the one that's going to go into the tool so we're going to go into replicate storage place one of these and then we're going to add a new folder we're going to call it tool storage put the green key into there just like that okay 
That'll be the exact same other than the script. And then add a new folder. This one's going to be called tools. And in here, we're basically going to add a tool like this. You're going to name it whatever key you want it to be called. So I'm going to, as mine's going to be called green, see green key. I'm going to name it green key. I'm then going to take basically a duplicate of this, put that one into green key, delete any of the scripts except from the mesh, just like that. I don't even think we need the particle emitter if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't think we do. And you're going to name it handle. And the last thing you need to do is just grab a touch intersect, which you cannot do, so I'm going to leave it there. That should be your green key, pretty simple and easily done. Now all you've got to do is go home, play here. And hopefully, oh wait, no, no, wait, 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 right, there's one more thing I've got to do. Just go into replicate storage and just add a ball value like this. I'm going to name it item switching. And in this case, we want it to be on. So just do, obviously, item switching. If you don't want it to be on, just do, just leave it like this. And then don't click the box. If you click the box, You'll be able to pick up the item and you'll be able to put it back down and re replace it with the other item. If not, you'll have to, you'll be picking up the item and you can if you die you can re-pick re it up again. Obviously they're not anchored anymore, but you see that I can pick up one more little bit that I did, I did to get to forget to do. Um the one in the tools I believe stays anchored. The one in tools storage you unanchor and the one here you unanchor as well. So only the one that's in tools you're gonna anchor. Okay. And then I believe that if we go into the game now, click the key, you cannot hold it out, rename the tool, I apologise. To make the tool anchored, no, and then make the tool storage anchored, yes. Oh wait, is it only that one that's unanchored? Oh yeah, it might be. Alright then, so when you, when you pick this key up now, like that, you can hold it out. It's a bit weird, it doesn't hold out correctly how it should. Um, that's quite easily fixable. Um... I think what you've got to do is just change the one that gets held, which is this one here. Just change the... Um, what one is it? Grip forward 0? I have no idea. I'll have a look at that and I'll fix it a little bit later. Um, other than that, you that's basically your um, keys done. You'll see that if I go here, anchor that one, that's fine. Um, if I turn item switching off, so if I turn it false, when you click the key, it will just put it straight, it will give you it, and then you can reset, respawn, and you'll still be able to pick it up, okay? So I'll show you that right now. If you click it, and you get the key, still here, reset, just like that. And then you'll lose a key, obviously. When you respawn like this, you can click it again, and it's still there, okay? That's basically the item switching off. I normally have item switching on, just because it makes it more like Piggy. That is basically your key done. Your key and your locks are done. Now all it is is to script the door. Um, to script the door, you're basically going to do the same thing we did for the cabinet first. Or the cabinet, was it the cabinet? Um, yeah, the, no, it was the locker we did first, wasn't it? So we're going to take door one, duplicate it twice, and put two of these inside of door one. We're going to name one part one, and name one part two. Remember that these are going to be duplicated. Remember that part two will be rotating. So make sure you go here and rotate onto 90. And you're going to rotate it once that way. And it will end up in the middle of the door. And you're just going to move it to the edge of the door like so. And then move it out so that it will be right there. Like that, that will be where it's going to open to, you can change it to whatever you want. But then I'm going to take part one and part two, and make them transparency one, and then can collide. No, make sure that door, um, make sure they're all anchored, they are. Then you've got door one here, okay? You're now going to duplicate these like this. Name part one, remember, name part one, part four, and name the duplicate of part two, part three. Because then it's going to go from three to four instead of one to two, okay? I'm going to do the exact same thing for door 2, so we're just going to duplicate it twice. Put two versions of door 2 into door 2, name one, part, part 1, name the other one, part 2. Then you're going to duplicate both, actually no, don't duplicate them yet. Take part 2, 
rotate it, one like that. And you've obviously got to try and get it as similar to the one on the other side. So about there and about there, that'll do. And this one's going to be part one and part two, we're then going to duplicate them. Then part one, remember this part one to part four and part two to part three, and make sure you're duplicating them as well. Then we're going to name it color them, make sure they're all off can collide and transparency one. Then you'll have your door opens, door openings, okay? We're going to add another script in here again. Remember, we did this in the last video. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it again, just in case you didn't watch it then. Um, it's really easy. All we're going to do is add local door one equals script dot parent, like that. Local tween service with a capital S and a capital T equals game dot get get come on get service open brackets open speech marks tween service go two lines down local time Capital T, don't forget because there's already something called time equals 0.4 or however long you want this to be. I, mine actually is normally, no, is it 0.4? It might be, it is 0.4, yes. So name it 0.4 local um, tween info equals tween info dot new. And you're going to go in between this bracket here, you know, enter. And you're going to go time with a capital T, co, but comma, next line, enum dot easing style first. So easing, let's see, easing style dot linear, colon, next line, not colon, sorry, comma, enum dot easing direction dot out comma next line zero comma next line false comma next line zero that will be the end of that part and we're going to go on to the next lines and we're going to do function here function tween open brackets part one comma part two then we're going to go on to the next line and we're going to do door one dot c frame equals parts one dot c oopsie c frame we're going to go local tween equals tween service colon create door one comma tween info comma comma okay, i think i keep saying colon i mean comma for there's no colons in this or uh there's i've done it again haven't i hold on it's not it's game colon get service i've done it again i did it in this first video game colon get service there you go, I nearly did it again. Um, tween info, and then inside these curly brackets, you're going to do C frame equals part two dot C frame. Then we're going to do both of them, then we're going to do tween like that, colon. Play. and then it'll be end and then we're going to do a couple of lines in forward tween open brackets script dot parent dot part one colon script dot parent dot part two and then we're going to do a space in between there and that will be your first script complete you can basically copy this Okay, 
You're going to name this one move one, disable it, duplicate the script, and name this one move two. Inside of the move two script, change everything that says part one to part three, and everything that says part two to part four, okay? This one says part one, so we're going to change it to part um, three. This one says part two, so I'm going to change it to part four. This one says part one, so I'm going to change it to part three, and then part two to part four. That we move to, we're then going to copy these and put these into door 2 like that. That is all of your moves done. Now all it is is down to doing the actual door script, which is going to be quite a big one. Um, it's probably the more fun one to do though. Um, if I can find it, which would be great. Um, here it is, right. Um, yeah, this one. What we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to add a script inside the door. We're going to name it door script like that. Then we're going to go inside of this and inside this door script we're going to start the line with local locked door equals script dot parent local time equals 0.5 local tool required equals locked door dot tool required dot value now with this one, we're just going to have to go in here as well, and we're going to have to add a value. Now I've got to figure out which one it is, actually. I think it is object value. No, it's not object value. My apologies. It is... String. Yeah, string. And you're going to name this one blue... No, not blue key. Green key. Like that, and then we're going to name it tool required. Like that, okay? Uh, with me tool, tool, so if I now try it again, dot tool, you'll see it's there now, dot value. And then we go to the next line, this is where we're going to start the script. Okay, so now we're going to do lock door, dot hitbox. All right, we've got rid of hitbox yet. Okay, so we're going to go into any part, we're going to take the door, we preferable. So we'll take a door, we'll go duplicate. Like that, uh, I've got two, no I haven't, and then I'm going to name it hitbox. Obviously going to remove anything inside of it, like all the scripts and the parts. The hitbox is just this. Then I'm going to scale it this up, this way, like that. We're then going to bring it in front of the locks like this, and make sure it's in front of everything. Just like that, and then we're going to also move it, no we don't need to move it back on this side. This is going to be hitbox, we'll make transparency 1. And if you want, you can make it can collide off, but I normally keep mine can collide on. Um, that's basically it for the hitbox. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to do on the hitbox. Just go here, and then go hitbox. Lockdoor. Don't tell me I've broken the script again. Hitbox. Dot touched. Yes, I have broken it. Okay, hold on. Let me just delete this line real quick, like that. Close this down, reopen the script. Go here, locked. There we go, lock door. Dot hitbox. Dot touched. Colon connect function. Open brackets. Go here. We're then, oh wait, we're then going to name inside this bracket here hit. Then go on the next line. We're going to do if hit dot parent oopsie dot parent colon is a open this here tool and hit dot parent dot name equals tool required 
then lock and this is where we're gonna start the script now, okay? So we're gonna do lock store dot hitbox. This is gonna destroy the hitbox, we're gonna do lock door hitbox destroy lock door dot lock one dot anchored equals false lock store dot lock two dot anchored equals false and then we're gonna do now we're gonna have something in the sound part I'm gonna name the frame sound part just because it's the only part I haven't got that's a door now I'm gonna add inside of this all three sounds like this and then gonna go lock store dot sound part dot um, unlock door colon play wait 0.5 locked loopsy locked door dot door one dot move one dot disabled equals false locked door I just realized guys you've wasted we've wasted a lot of time you don't need a part four and a part three and a move two. All we need is the first move because this is not going to be closable again. So all you need is move one and part one and part two. That is something I've realised. So I apologise for that. That is all right now. Lock door dot door two dot move one dot disabled equals false. Then the next line we're going to do locked door dot sound part dot door open colon play we also don't need door closed either so you can get rid of that as well so then we end and end then we're going to add another part of the script and this can be if you click it now okay lock door let's see lock door dot hit box going off again now we're going to go into the hitbox and we're going to add a click detector like that this one's going to have activation distance 20 and it's going to have the cursor icon is going to be um where is it um id is going to be 258 so copy this down 258 113808 You got that, and then we're going to go back into this hitbox. I need to find the script again now. There it is hitbox.click. Broken the script again. Click detector. Dot mouse click. The capital C. Mouse click. Colon connect. And connect. Open brackets function doing that plr open brackets player if plr dot backpack colon find first child open brackets tool required then locked door dot hitbox I'm basically just going to copy this now I'm not going to waste any time scripting it I'm just going to take this paste it in there colon destroy it's basically, it's basically literally the exact same thing and then end to end and once you've done that, that should actually be your door complete. We're just going to go for a quick test on it. Oh wait, no, it's not complete yet. We're nearly done. We are nearly done, guys. There's one tiny little bug that I have not realised yet. It's going to be right here where it says... No, here, so these parts here need to be rigged to the door. So basically, I'm going to take this. We're going to go edit rig. Take door one to part here. Then I'm going to take door two to part there create joints and then when the door moves it'll move them with it 
We go for a, a nice quick test here. Should be good. And there we go. Grab the key. Now you should be able to click on the door like that. It's got the wrong click detector, but that's all right. Click that. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant how it works. Um, of course, I'm wrong on the move script then. Colon get service. Seems fine to me. Um, don't know what I've done wrong there. Door script. Move one disabled equals false, false. Move two, move one disabled. False. They look fine look to me. Um, wait, not point five. Anchored, anchored. Uh, I don't see what the problem is here. Um, I'm a little bit confused here because I've, I've I've scripted everything how it should be scripted. So I'm just thinking where I might have gone wrong. Um, move one. Part one to part two. That's fine. Um, should be doing that. Door two anchored and everything here. That's fine. I don't. I don't. I just don't know why it's not working. Um, lock door. Sound part unlock door. That's fine. And false. False. Tool required. Got the tool required in there. I've got the lock door. I'm I'm completely baffled as to why it's not actually working. Um. Ow. The key. The key and everything is working. Oh, that works. The sound works. It's just not opening doors, which is really annoying. Um, uh, here, door one is script parent. It should always do, also be doing that one as well. We've done something wrong somewhere. Let me just quickly check the script. Uh, here. Door one equals script parent. Local tween service equals game code on get service tween service. That's fine. Local time is 0 0.4. Local tween info equals tween info new time. Enum start le using star linear out zero fold zero. Function tween part one part two. Door one C frame equals part one C frame. Local tween equals tween service colon create door one tween info C frame part two dot C frame. Tween play n tween dot script parent part one script parent part two. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, maybe the, no, because it's playing this door open sound. I just don't know why it's not opening the actual doors. Um, to be honest, I have no idea. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's because they're getting in the way of the of the let me just make the locks can collide false. Maybe the locks are getting in the way of the door opening. So I have to just quickly check this real quick. There we go, like that. Still not working. It's still not working. Um, let me just quickly go check. I'll go get grab another script and I'll go see what I did wrong. I'll be back in one minute. So this is the one I actually made earlier, like a couple of days ago. Um, it's a it's a blue it's a blue fridge, I know, but it's got the I've assigned it to to use green key. Let me see. You see that one works. It works perfectly fine. I have no idea why it's not actually. Um, I don't know why it's not actually working. I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm going to have a look at the, I'm going to compare the move 1 and move 2, I'm just going to change it to door for a second, just to compare them, just see if there's anything different. Um, door, door 1, um, door 1. Part two, part two, like that, and then I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go Control C. I'm gonna go here. 
here, here, put one and put two, put one and put two, they're fine. Let me just open up this script and let me open up that script. I found it already. Um, this one. Right, so this one I'm opening now is the one that's official. Yeah. And this one here is the one that I did. Rename that tween info without the capitals. And rename this one. Which one is it? Tween info. Make it capital I. And then go into. I can't believe I got this wrong. Move one. Yeah, so here. Make that a capital I. And then change this one to be tween info, that one there. Now, wait a minute, someone, someone just popped up, it was wrong, I need a local, local tween info, why is that not working now, tween info, wait, why is it gone cap, oh yeah, capital I, um, I did, did that one lowercase I, no I did it capital, now, if I go into this now and try it, it should work, If I click green key, really, really, are, are, you, are you kidding me? Door two, what have I done here then? <laughs> tween info equals time, tween info, don't know, don't know what I did there, I, I think I must have slipped or something, I also put an equal sign in there, I don't know what I was doing. Now hopefully, fingers crossed, last chance. That happens, it opens, it's fine, it works, you can go inside the locker, it works, you can't close it or anything, the hitbox is gone, you can go inside of it, you can take the key, take any keys out of it. I actually want to change the locks just so that they are can collide. I just want to see what happens when they can collide. And then you can basically do that. That you see, you see the locks now just sit there on the floor, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Um, they will fling about the map though, which is why I, don't, I think we need to do it. But yeah, that's, ba that's basically the tutorial done. I'm going to show you what happens if you change your move one to be like 10 seconds, okay? And then you change your move one here 10 seconds. What's going to happen is the doors will take 10 seconds to open to get from one part to the other part. You'll see what I mean now. When I test this, it's actually been a really, really long tutorial. I think it's reaching just over 50 minutes now. Uh, if I do that, you see it's now going to take 10 seconds to actually open. You can, you can get inside the locker, but there you'll see they're taking ages to open. And if you want it to be zero seconds, obviously they're just going to like instantly go there. They'll instantly be there as soon as you click the door. If I did that, that, play. And I tested it. Click the key. Click the door. You'll see that it opens up straight away, just like that. We don't obviously don't want that. I I normally keep it on 0.4. That seems like a good speed to open it at. Um, other than that, that's pretty. That's ba that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you want to change the color of anything, just go duplicate here. Okay, and then you've got once this, you got this, you're just going to go into here, change lock and lock one. If I wanted the red door, I'm going to take red like that. Then all you do is change the tool required to be red key. You can take this key, duplicate it, name it red key, change the color of it to be this bright red here, control C, go here, change the particle emitter to obviously be bright red. Then you go. Then you have. You do have to go into the replicated storage, duplicate each one of these, name one red key, and then change the color to be the same color as on here. Particle emitter. That one there. Then go into tools, color name one of these red key. Go into the handle and name it red. 
like that and then once you go play here you should be able to pick it up and you'll be able to use it on the red door but not the green door you'll see what ha you'll see what happens here so you can take pick up the red key you'll have the red key still i still haven't fixed that thing yet you can click on red door you cannot click on green door click up pick up the green door green key don't know why i can't swap out the keys bit weird if you're able to be able to pick up the green key green key you can use there but you can't use on this door so it's basically pretty pretty simple um other than that though guys um that is basically it um yeah that that, that is your fridge i think they're fridges i'm not sure if they're fridges or cabinets i'm still trying to decide um people say they're fridges but i'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure i'm not sure let me, let me just turn my graphic up just a little bit there we go that's better I got my nice crawl friend here as well. Um, if you did enjoy though, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. Please still don't stop out, that's a real shame. Um, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. I'll definitely be making more of these, like I said in the last video. They're really, really fun, really, really simple, and really, really good fun to teach as well. Um, they can make really cool stuff. I'm soon going to be teaching you how to make your own events from scratch, like I did today. Basically, taught you how to make a door straight from scratch. All I had was a, the door and the scripts on this on my phone obviously um but anyway guys i hope um wait what was i gonna say anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>